Out four wheel driving communications is uh, is pretty important whether you're uh, on a work site or whether you're touring with your bunch of mates. We've got this Oricom uh, DTX 4200PK. Got to get the specs right. We're going to be fitting this to this Prado today. It's not too daunting. It's something you can do yourself at home. So we're going to get into it, and give you a couple of tips along the way. Okay, to fit any sort of communications equipment to a vehicle, we need to work under the bonnet and also in the cabin. So the first thing I want to do is actually figure out where we can run some wiring through the firewall. One of the advantages of this little Oricom is the fact that it turns itself off. So we're going to be wiring it straight to the battery. The other thing we need to think about, of course, is getting the aerial lead out of the cabin to the place we're going to be mounting the aerial. Most vehicles have got several wiring harnesses through the firewall, so what we want to try and do is uh, find a grommet that's got a bit of space, a bit of room, and we'll poke the wires through that. Okay, there's a few things we need to think about within the cabin of the car. First of all, where we're going to locate the brains of the operation. Now this arrives with a handy extension cord, so that can be mounted quite a fair way away from the handpiece. What we're going to do is mount that down next to the centre console. The important thing is where we're going to locate the handpiece. It needs to be within easy reach of the driver. It's got all the controls on it, as you can see. We're going to mount this on a little hook down to the left of the steering wheel. It's important to side it so that the cable, for instance, doesn't dangle on your left leg and become annoying. Another thing to be mindful of the fact is a lot of cars these days have got knee airbags and you really can't be screwing one of these to an airbag. Okay, we've got the hardware installed in the cabin, the radar unit and the handpiece. The next thing we need to do is to give it power. Okay, because this wiring has a fuse box on the end of it, da -da 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 -da, we can't actually feed that through the firewall from inside the cabin. We need to go the other way, which is why this arrives disassembled. Once we push that through the firewall, we'll assemble it to the plug, and then we can plug it into the radar unit. Here's what I like to do when poking wiring harnesses through firewalls. Fold it over, wrap a bit of tape around it, and it makes it a lot easier to push that through a grommet. What we need to do next is install the aerial. Now this little Oricom aerial is actually a pretty good bit of gear. It's got a short stubby base for a short range work and an extendable long piece for uh, outback work, so that's pretty good. Here's a little tip, make sure you take the nut off the bottom of the aerial before you start feeding the wire through the hole. And something that you might have to do on some vehicles is, oh dear, make the hole in your uh, frontal protection bar, your aerial mounting tab, you might have to make that hole a bit bigger. Yeah! Antenna cable, I've got to feed that from obviously the antenna through to the cabin. Um, look, it's always a good idea to follow a wiring harness if you can. Um, wiring harnesses sort of snake their, all, their way all around the engine bay. Um, I don't actually have a wiring harness to chase, so I'm going to follow the air conditioning lines. We've got the aerial on, we've got the radio unit in the cabin, and of course, we've got the handset. Straight away, I'm quite impressed by this. There's some pretty good features on this little Oricon. The dual receive function, that means you only need one radio in the vehicle because you can listen to two channels at once. The transmit power indicator tells you how much power is going out the aerial. Well, a couple of hours mucking around the shed and we've got it in. Hopefully we've shown you how easy it is to do it yourself.